Hey, hey, hey. It's Candy from the Candy Show, and you're thinking, what? Same shirt again? Uh, as you know, I was uh, down and out for a week there, recovering from a surgery, and so it's been pretty sparse on my channel. So Denise and I just went on a just a videotaping massacre today, and she suggested I change the shirt, but I hate faking it. I, you know, you're gonna know. You realize the makeup is the same makeup I did in the in the tutorial that you watched a few days ago. So it's not like if I change my shirt, I fool you that I'm taping on a different day. So this, all these videos that you've seen, the last couple, and then finally this one, all taped on the same day. But that's because I just wanted to be able to like pound out some vids for you. So this is an unboxing. It is my wantable box unboxing. And I have to be honest and tell you that I had never heard of the Wantable Box until the lovely Lindsay Does Nails did an, a Wantable Box unboxing. And uh, that's my little Canadian friend. And my Canadian friend gets something, I gotta get it too. So anyway, I checked it out. She had put a link and I'll put a link down here somewhere to where you can go and check it out. It's a subscription service, but it is full size products. And you can fill out a fairly specific questionnaire about the kind of things you don't want to receive and the kind of things you do want to receive. This is what it looks like when it comes in the mail. This is my second one. Um, the first one that came had Vincent Longo makeup in it. And I'm not sure if you're familiar, but Vincent Longo makeup is fantastic. Um, there's a store here in Halifax called Mills Brothers. Well, I guess now it's just called Mills. It's a department store that had been here for pretty much, I think, close to 100 years. And it did this big overhaul about four years ago, and they brought in Vincent Longo makeup. And it has since changed hands, and everything has changed there. But four years, if you will follow the Allure Reader's Choice uh, Beauty Awards, which has been my bottle for years, uh, for years, there has been a Vincent Longo lipstick called Americana. And before, you know, we had access to all these lip butters and tinted lip balms, um, it was one of the few lipsticks where you could get a red that ha was that, of that effect. So it was called Americana. When you screwed up the bullet, it was very, very deep red. But when you put it on, it was like a tinted lip balm red. Very beautiful. I have it and still wear it. So anyway. This is the June Wantable box, so it comes in a box like this. There was just one little piece of tape here, so I opened that up. When I open it up, it says here, a beautiful new thing. And then inside, it tells me that it was packaged for Candy Bowder. C'est moi. And then this says, we've missed your smiling face. Now, I'm not sure about the we missed, because I just saw you last month, but maybe they missed me in the 30 days. So if we take that out, I can use that for a bookmark, actually, when I think about it. On the back, it's a Harry Winston quote that says, people will stare, make it work their while. I like that. Uh, and then inside is a sheet with what is in it. We won't look at that because we want to see. And then there is this foam protecting the products. And when you pull that away, there are your full-size products. Woo! Vincent Longo again. Very excited. So here is the Vincent Longo packaging. Uh, it's been the same packaging for a long time. It's black with uh, mint green lettering and his um, logo is a really cool, like a V and an L that look exactly the same sort of juxtapos juxtaposition to one another. And this product is La Riviera Sun Bronzer for Face and Body. Uh, so this is the time of the year for bronzer. So let's get a look. Very nice. See the inside of the box is mint green as well. This, by the way, is the new color in the what used to be the blue room. Uh, if you if you watch our vlogs, so Julie and Heather were here. This is the beautiful new lilac color in this room. It's a bit echoey because we don't have the bed set up in here yet. There's the product. Gorgeous. It's a it's a light uh, bronze, but it has a bunch of different colored flecks in it. And I'd say it's luminous, but not glittery. And there's quite often products from brands that I've not heard of. Uh, this is called Gleam Body Radiance by Melanie Mills. I have not heard of Melanie Mills before. But let's see what this is about. There might be a... Yeah, there's a little seal. We'll get that off. Try a little of that. I'm trying it on my hand, but I... I 
had surgery a week ago and I have a very bad bruise on my hand from where they stabbed me a thousand times with a needle trying to find my veins. Oh, that's pretty. That would be really, I don't think I would put that on my face, but I would love that like through here on the tips of my shoulders, really pretty. If you're in a nice restaurant with some candlelight or on a nighttime deck with some tiki um, torches going. So yeah, that is lovely, Gleam. This sort of all seems to have a bit of a beach theme. This is Eddie Funkhauser, and there was Eddie Funkhauser products in the last box, and I had not heard of it until now. So this is um, Hyper Real Pure Pigment in the color Penny Lane, so I'm guessing that's like a copper, which again is perfect for this time of the year. Oh! Why didn't somebody think of that before? So I take the top off. It's a pigment, right? I'm totally safe. Tiny little plastic thing lifts up. And then in here are the little holes that it comes out of. Eddie Funkhausa. You don't just have a funky name, you get some good ideas. Yeah, and then you can seal it again. Screw the top on put it in your travel bag and not end up with a freaking mess. Love it. Oh yeah, and it's a very, very uh, reflective copper. Gorgeous for this time of the year. Then there are two pencils. This is the Ofra, O-F-R-A lip liner in Savage Red. I don't love the name. And in case you're wondering why I don't love the name, um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm Big Mom, First Nations, and savage is a derogatory term that has been used for ages to describe Native people. Native people are referred to as red. This color looks like what Crayola would refer to as Indian red. Yep, it's like an Indian red, and they're calling it savage red. I will look for... Um, this product company online and send them a little note. It's made in the USA. Um, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt and think that wasn't their intention, but I'm not sure why you would call it Savage Red. Anyway, too bad. Seems like a nice color though. And finally, Mirabella. It's a box here. Foil Eye Definer. Oh yeah, it's kind of, it almost looks like a pencil that I got. Um, in my Ipsy bag ages ago, and I forget that brand name, Star Looks or Star Lights. Uh, but this is the Mirabella Eye Definer in the color foil. Now this is beautiful packaging, a nice silver, uh, very metallic silver pencil with a really sleek silver cap. And I assume this is the color on the tip, it looks like almost like a steel gray. Now it is a little deceiving because I was thinking it was going to be very foil-like. It is not. It is basically a very dark gray pencil with nothing going on. There's no foil or shininess or anything, but it's, it's a nice pencil. Not sure why they called it foil. Anyway, those were the products in the Wantable box. And uh, I'll see if they give you what it all costs. So yes, they are saying that the, uh, the Gleam Cream uh, retails for 30 bucks. God, that must be a high-end brand of a tube that small is retailing for 30 bucks. The Mirabella, which was the eye pencil, retailing for $19. The Ofra Unfortunate Lip Pencil Name Title, going for $10. Vincent Longo, $32 for the bronzer, I can believe that. Um, in fact, I'm surprised it's not a little more expensive than that, the Vincent Longo Cassata bronzer. And the Hyper Pur Pigment Color in Bronze, $11.99. So uh, you can do the math on that, but basically it's over $100 uh, worth of products. And it is, um, I can't remember the exact price of this. It's not like your $10 subscription. I think it's $30 or $40, but you're getting full-size products every month, and like seriously, as long as they are sending me Vincent Longo, I will be so happy with this box. This is a brand I never hear people talk about, and it is a fantastic 
brand. Check it out if you can get your hands on it anywhere near you. Alright, so that is my Wantable unboxing. Today I also got um, my Ipsy Glam Bag and my Loose Button Loops Box, uh, which I will probably film for you tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Follow me in all the places you need to follow me. I'll see you next time. Until I do, please don't drink and drive. Wear a condom every time. See ya.